Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're going to be doing a quick, well, kind of quick video. Okay, not quick video, but Exile K here, and today we're going to be doing, well, yeah, today we're going to be doing a new video, and it's going to be a car, like a drift, it's going to be a drift car. Now, a lot of people are like don't even consider this and never even thought about it i mean sure maybe one of you guys but maybe not now the car we're going to showcase and talk about is is you know is used for drift cars i mean drifters but not often like you it's very very rare because you know these cars they're really cheap even though they're heritage and like even though they are so expensive the other types of it like they're so expensive now this is i mean a lot of you guys may never have thought of but you guys might be wondering okay let's just get to the chase and what car is it so i can buy it or so i can search on other videos but just you can do that after you watch this full video or if you're not going to watch the full video just just exit now but I hope you guys like the video, so let's get into it. So you guys might be wondering, what is this drift car I'm talking about? And how would we get it if its heritage are so expensive? Well, this type is actually, you know, when it was first out, it was the bomb until a few le years later. And it, it was, you know, considered, like, a, from a lot of people, one of the worst creations the comp this car company has ever made can you guess it i'm giving you let's say i'm gonna give you guys about 10 seconds to guess press pause comment below and guess one two three four five six seven eight nine ten now, if you comment and just say the answer out loud, I'm not really going to believe you. Unless you say something like, yeah, I was kind of thinking of it. I just, I, I mean, let's just see. Okay, so the car is the Porsche 944. Now, you guys might be thinking, wait, a Porsche? Why a Porsche? And... Why couldn't you just get something else, like a 350Z, a Miata, or a Mazda Savannah RX-7? And you know what? You can. I'm just considering this because I've seen people drift in it on YouTube, not in real life, because it's really rare to see people drift in these things. And you know what? They've said it's... And they said it was the easiest drift car they've ever had one guy actually owns 10 different cars with best tuning setup even beginner tuning setup and he said this is the easiest with the most with the most extreme tuning setup now why i say 944 turbo porsche 944 now don't just you know you can get a regular 944 but I would highly recommend, and because I also have it in the game, and this is what they were using, I recommend you get the 1986 through 1989 Porsche 944 Turbo. Now, I think they all come in 2.5 liters, V6s or V4s, I'm not really sure if it's a V4 or a V6, I'm pretty sure it's a v6 but my instinct kind of tell me it's a v4 but um so the 1986 through 1989 Porsche 944 tur turbo is gonna give you uh 247 horsepower which you know it's not a lot but you know for a stock car like that is a lot now they, a lot of people, a lot of you may disagree with me, but, you know, this is just an idea, and, you know, there has been a lot of drifters with these cars, but not a lot, but, like, in Europe there has, but, you know, yeah, it's just kind of rare to see a drift car like this, it's rare to see a drift car, but to see this is, like, very rare, so, 
the production was 1982 to 1991 now you could get a 90 or a 91 but i would recommend the 1986 through 1989 just because and they are made in germany of course because it's a porsche now why i recommend it is because it has a turbo it all checks up at least 230 horsepower stock rear wheel drive stock front engine stock that's exactly what you're looking for in a drift car now turbo even better because the turbo for drifter a lot of drifters use turbos and why spend money on buying a turbo i mean you can you already have one i mean you can get a better one but if you're on a budget i mean that's perfect it's a sports car classic of course now it could it can come in a two-door convertible or a two-door coupe i've only seen one of these in my life and it was a two-door convertible convertible and i've heard that uh it was a it was rare to see a convertible but also oh i never even knew this its layout is an fr layout okay so fr oh wait no i'm thinking of fc because i watch initial d and the guy has a mazda savannah fc rx7 so and this is the other thing it re- it looks it looks like it has a body style of a Savannah RX-7, it really does, and which is another reason why I like it, is because it has that body style look, and it could come in a 2.7 liter i4, a 2.5 liter i4, and a 3 point, and a 3 liter i4. Now. I don't know if these all come with turbos, but if I were you, I would probably be looking for the one with turbos. And you could get two choices of a three-speed automatic or a five-speed manual. Now, I would not rec- like, do- I will not, like, definitely, I will not recommend you get an automatic. First off, it's three-speed. I mean, you can buy a new tranny, but it's also an automatic, which- for drifting is a no-go. I mean, you can try, but you might as fail. And almost, I think every drifter has rear-wheel drive, front engine, and manual. Now, you can't get the three-speed and automatic unless you're going to drift. Definitely get the five-speed manual. Now... It does have a turbo and an S2, whatever that is, but I think it's just a car. Now, height doesn't really matter for me. Curb weight, it's actually really, really light, which is another thing when you're looking for a drift car. I mean, if you got a lot of power, then you might want a little bit more weight or a little bit, a lot more grip because... If your car weighs like a thousand pounds and you have like 700 horsepower on it, all you're going to be doing is shredding tires, and which might sound good because you know drifters shred tires. You're going to lose control, and all you're going to be, be doing is doing burnouts and spins. Now the processor and the successor, okay, so process, oh predecessor was a 924 Porsche and the successor 968 Porsche. Now let's do okay. Let's do history. The Porsche 924 had originally been a project of VW Porsche, a joint Porsche. Yeah, I've heard of it, and this is the thing. There's actually, I don't know what it is, but there's the Volkswagen also made a car that looked a lot like the 944. I would. I would uh, search it, but I just can't. Now, okay, so enough with all this. I mean, there's a lot of information. You can even look for yourself. Like, it's just Wikipedia, so you can go look for yourself. But the thing is, it's a good base to start off from. 
I mean, it's nice and clean. Really nice. Now, it's a really good drift car and it's a very nice platform to start off with. I mean, first off, it's clean. Now, when I see, now, it said FR. So, there's different types, like, Japanese made the Savannah FC and the 86 FR. The, also the, what is it? The B18 Civic FF. The Mazda FD Legendary. So the A86 and the uh, Mazdas and Civics. But, I mean, FR. Look at that thing. I mean, it looks clean and it has a very close resemblance, in my opinion, a very close resemblance to an FC, uh, to an FC Mazda Savannah RX-7. It just looks like, it has, like, the same body style, like, to the rear and the, fe and the rear fenders and the doors and the hood and the, you know, the bumper, not so much. The rest is all like it, like, except for maybe the back windshield, and it's like, it doesn't have, like, flat, like, a little, I don't know, but it just looks really close. So, but yeah, these cars are really nice drift cars, and, you know, you don't see a lot of them. Now, this guy, of course, has been shredding tires for a long time in his Porsche, so, his name, his, uh, YouTube name is Jacob C, just so I'm not just stealing credit and saying, oh, it's my video, blah, 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 and no one sues me, sue, so, I don't even know what's gonna happen, but I heard some people have been, got in a lot of trouble, but anyways, let's move on to another video, but yes, it's, you know, decent, and you know, I think this is Europe, and you know, they do drift in these cars, and you know, I mean, you go, and if you go to, like, YouTube and search amazing drift cars, European drift cars, I mean, you might see it, but it's just a very, very extremely high chance that you won't, and they won't even mention the Porsche 944. I know that I have never even heard or seen any of it now of course if you're just gonna play a noob and like pretend you're all set and just drift it and crash your fault you should definitely know the car as you can see there too much power i can already tell there's too much power now this guy has too little power and he's on stock suspension. I mean, you can keep it. You know, you can still drift good like that. I mean, you can still drift. There's no problem with that. Which is why it would be so good. I mean, of course, you do a little mistake. Which is like in every drift car. You do a mistake, you're going in the ditch. So, it's nothing new. It's also quite reliable for what I've heard. It's reliable. It's a reliable sports car. And easy to repair. Is from what I heard. But yeah, so other than that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Leave a big thumbs up and I'll see you next time. But uh, yeah, when I turn 16, I'm definitely gonna try getting one of these. Also, price for these go to range like ranges $2,000 to 10k. Cheapest, like I saw one on Facebook actually for two grand. Another one for three grand, another one for five grand, one for nine grand, and one for twelve grand, and there was one for nine hundred bucks. Now that wasn't in good shape, but there was one for one grand, which was in good shape. But as you can see, nice mint. Now the guy who made this video was F2 Iceland, so it was in Iceland, Europe, I think, or. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. The big thumbs up, and I'll see you next time. So definitely considering getting one of these cars. Subscribe, like, and comment.